Good morning. Today is Friday, May 26th, and um, once again, the car's not going as fast as it looks. It's quite breezy. It's kind of windy. Um, it's 57 degrees, but with that breeze, it feels a lot colder than 57. But I'm still going to go for my walk. Um, I am going to have a gain this week. Unfortunately, when I gain, um, it's never like a pound or two. It's like four or five. I uh, am my worst saboteur <laughs> because I just sabotage myself constantly. And I have no excuses. Um, it's just who I am, I guess. I don't know. I, I want to lose weight. I do. I really, truly, truly do want to lose weight. But you'd never know it by my food choices. Uh, we ate out yesterday and I chose poorly. I ate out the day before, I chose poorly. I ate the day, out the day before that, I chose poorly. I just, um, I'm making some very poor choices and uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to have to, you know, I was thinking this morning when I was laying in bed saying my prayers and things like that, um, that I said that May was going to be my month and I looked at the Oh, but anyway, um, I uh, looked at my Weight Watchers Tracker book, and I'm thinking in May I'm going to have a gain. Here I'm thinking I was going to lose 7 pounds so that I could be in the 50s, and instead I'm going to get close to the 70s once again. And um, I'm hoping, 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 hoping I'm not hitting the 70s because that is my major goal, not to get back into those numbers again. Because as soon as you, let, you get into the one set of numbers, it's easy, easy, easy to get in all the next set and the next set and the next set. So I, I have to stop myself. So accomplish that much at least. Um, I hate to always do stories, but you know that's just who I am. I, I have so many friends that tell me I should write a book, but I just I'm not a writer. But, but anyway, um, I've lived in, um, since Jim and I have been married, we've lived in four different homes. And uh, so I'm going to tell you a little story about our second home we lived in. It was in Detroit. We rented a house from the church. And um, like this would be my front door. My car would be right there. It was that close. And then like right there is the driveway for the church to get to the church rectory. And then where that sidewalk is there is where the school was that my kids went to. So um, when they were in the second, the fourth, the sixth, and the eighth grade, I could look out any window and see them in class. And so they knew that they had to be good. But uh, so anyway, the, when we first moved in, Jimmy was um, four. And Danny wasn't, wasn't born yet. And we had... Um, a Catholic priest that shouldn't have really been a Catholic priest. And right after we moved in, um, I was pregnant. I got pregnant. New house, new baby. You know what they say. And uh, does it have? Yep. Yeah, no. Just the two. Just the two houses. I was gonna say, did every house I go in, I had a new baby? But no, just the two houses. But anyway, um, so I, Jimmy was little, and. Uh, this priest that shouldn't have been a priest, as it turned out, later left the priesthood, but you know, he shouldn't have been a priest. And uh, just on a side note, it, it embarrasses me to admit that I'm a Catholic sometimes when I realize that all the abuse that the Catholic Church has condoned, and uh, it just, it bothers me. But anyway, neither here nor there. Um, I'm strong in my faith, and I just feel that you'll be judged so anyway so um, Jimmy would always talk to this one particular priest who never really um, like I said should be a priest and he was always like yelling at Jimmy and that you know, he, shouldn't have, he shouldn't have been doing this and he shouldn't have been doing that and, you know you should leave him in the house it's dangerous with the driveway here and you know never mind that I was sitting right on the porch watching him. hello it's a little windy so um neighbors and um, so I uh, the one day Jimmy was talking to him and he came in the he came in the house we went in the house for something and I didn't realize great mother that I am that uh, Jimmy had left out the back door 
to talk to this priest, I'm not going to say his name, uh, who was parking his car in the garage that was parked in our backyard, basically, because we didn't have a backyard. And um, he had brought him Jim's Playboy magazines. <laughs> Because so, he said that he thought he might like to read some magazines, and he thought that the pictures in there looked really nice. <laughs> so anyway, the priest then comes around to the front door, rings the doorbell, and um, I um, answer the door, and he's got this, you know, magazine. And I'm thinking, why is this priest bringing me a Playboy magazine? And he says, well, just as I suspected, um, you're not a good mother. Look at look at this. This is not what the church practices. This is not what the church preaches. And you you have this pornography in your house, and you're allowing your little one. And now look at you. You're pregnant again. What's what is with you? Don't you know how to stop prop, uh, having babies? And I said, well, I thought being a Catholic that was the whole point. You don't believe in birth control. Of course, I'm going to get pregnant. Do you think I'm not going to ever have sex? And he says, oh, don't even talk to me. You're talking to a priest, and you know this is just ridiculous. And I'm going to talk to the to the pastor, and we're going to get you evicted because this is just ridiculous. I says, you know, do what you got to do. I don't care. So then he left, and uh, then the pastor did call me in and talk to me. And, you know, I said, you know, we had a talk and that. And I, he said, you know, we understand, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And, but they didn't evict me. And probably six months later, the priest left because he was caught in a scandal involving uh, an extramarital affair with a married woman in the parish. So let me just say, practice what you preach. So, but even with that, I'm still struggling with my faith. And the second story, I shouldn't do two stories, but I'm going to do two stories, is uh, the neighbor that we had on the other side, we had a neighbor on the other side, like on that side, and he was a nut. He, he really was. He was mental. Um, later in life, he got into a fight with the police, and rather than uh, surrender, he set the house on fire and died in the house, which is house. Burned, not burned to the ground. They, they completely demolished the house. So he was a nut. But anyway, he would always come over and complain. He always called the police on Jimmy and um, because Jimmy was my oldest. And, you know, the one time the police came and they wanted to talk to this, this uh, vandal that had damaged George's house. His name was George. And uh, I said, well, what was his name? She said, he said his name is Jimmy. That's all I know is Jimmy, he's, that he's your son. And so I said, okay, let me go get Jimmy. So then I called Jimmy. Jimmy comes to the door, and at this time he's like seven. And uh, he says, this is Jimmy. <laughs> I said, yeah, this is Jimmy. What did he do? He says, well, we're not really sure. We haven't talked to him yet because he won't answer the door, but he did file a complaint at the police station. Let me go over there and see what the problem is. So he goes over there, and he comes back. And then he, uh, the police come back, and they go, you know, we're not going to pay any attention to this claim. And I go, well, what was the claim? He was mad because when Jimmy walked across his lawn the, on the snow, that the snow got pressed down, and now he didn't have a, uh, a pristine view of his snow. It had footprints in the snow. So that just kind of gives you an idea how nutty he was. Jim and I just kind of avoided them. Uh, we had a, a workman come to our house one time to do some work on the second floor uh, window, and he had to put his ladder into George's um, yard. and. Uh, so the guy climbed up the ladder. He was a small, skinny little guy. And uh, he was up on the second floor fixing the window. And George came out of the house and started rattling the, the ladder, saying, get off, get off my property, get off my property. And the worker, I think he was a fireman or something, I don't know what the deal was, but he grabbed the side of the, the uh, he had gloves on, he grabbed the side of the ladder, and instead of walking the rungs down, slid the whole rung down slid all the way down to the thing and he jumped up and got right in George's face and George was so startled he ran in the house. <laughs> he didn't give that workman any problems at it the rest of the time he was there fixing that window. Oh well. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go for my walk. Hopefully I won't be too cold. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm back. Um, it actually wasn't as cold as it was. I guess it was just a breeze that was kicking in before I left because it's beautiful out here. Of course it's gonna rain. It's supposed to rain today, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I think I'm going to have to start some of my planting today. Um, so when I get done talking to you, I'm going to do some planting. And then I'm going to uh, go and take a shower. And then I have to mail David's phone back. And probably go pick out some new glasses. 
and then drive David to work. That's the extent of my plans today. I'm hoping I can make a good choice because my favorite Chinese restaurant is Pei Wei, and the Pei Wei is right by where I get my glasses at. So I'm trying, I'm trying to talk myself out of it. I'm not succeeding so far, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try really hard. So let's go do some planting. Okay, well, I obviously didn't do much filming today. Um, I planted my flowers for the front yard. They look very nice. Just too tired to show you right now. But maybe I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, I planted these. And um, in the back over here, those two. I'm going to try to put some uh, perennials in there. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm going to try. And then I bought this one because there's no way I can get something that pretty. Got the flag out for Memorial Day. Kind of twisted because of the wind today. And then on this table, I did this one. I think I did a pretty good job. And climb over here. I did that one. Changed out my hummingbird feeders, cleaned them out and put some more food in. Still no hummingbird. They have enough water. And this one too. that cactus when he went to North Dakota last, well about four years ago, and it was just that one, that one little bud, and it spread out. And then I did this. We have a little bit of a stump there, and people catch it when they come around the corner, so I always like to put something there to keep them from falling. And then I did those. I have the little gnome peeking. And then over here, walk with me. I did that. I have a little garden gnome. And then I did this one. And then I planted these. And then I wish well I got from my friends at work when I retired. Still waiting for my other plants to come up. I had to throw that chair away. Didn't make it through the winter. Oh, that's my house. Up there are my planter boxes. There's one, and there's one. I didn't plant anything in them yet because I got to paint them. And it, I was going to do it today, but then it started to rain. And I was going to do it tomorrow, but tomorrow we're going to take the pool cover off. And then it's supposed to rain. And Sunday's supposed to rain. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's supposed to rain. Um. I didn't do really great today Today on my eating. I had um, my egg and some bacon and toast and a banana and grapefruit and a cup of tea for my breakfast, brunch. And then for dinner I had a Jimmy Jam sub with a bag of chips and a Coke. Not good choices. I think it's because I knew I was going to gain tomorrow and I thought, whatever. <clears throat> Which is not the attitude to have. But I'm going to I'm going to get back on track. I started to tell you earlier this morning that I know that I said May was going to be my month and I was going to lose all this weight in May. I was going to lose six pounds and get into the 50s. <laughs> silly me. Silly, silly Sandy. But <clears throat> in honor of June, which was my mother's name, I'm going to just hope for her spirit to come upon me, give me a nudge in the right direction and do better in June, make better choices. So every time I want to go off it, I'm going to say, this is June, that's your mother. She's giving you a nudge, go the right way. So I'm not going to wait till June 1st, but I'm going to be really good in June. I really am, because I'm going to dedicate the month of June to my mother's memory. And hopefully that'll work. So, well, I got to go get David from work. They're closing the restaurant early today. There's not very much business. Most people went up north for the holiday. So. I will see you guys in the morning.